Y'all made me do this. <laughs> Anyways, what's good, what's good, what's good, beautiful people? Of course, you know who I be. Good die, die to Mike TV. Back again, once again. Shout out to the IPA, International Passport Association and Affiliates. Good die, good books, merch, and all that stuff. If you're interested, look in the links in the description area below. They'll take you to all of my good shit. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to hold you. These are my top three rules when it comes to dating foreign women. I repeat, the good doc's top three rules. Isa, Dalawa, Tatlo. For anybody who speaks Tagalog, uno, dos, tres, whatever. It's my three rules, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to dating foreign women. Don't matter if it's a Filipino. Doesn't matter if it's a young lady from Brazil. Don't matter if she's from, if she's Colombian or if she's from the DR, right? It does not fucking matter. These are my top three rules, and I think these are the rules that all foreigners need to abide by. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to pay attention. If I never asked you to pay attention to a video before, this is the one, ladies and gentlemen. So lock in. You don't need your notes. You can take your notepad out, your notepad out if you want to take some notes. But ladies and gentlemen, you need to hear these because these will definitely save your life. And if you care to have a relationship with some of these young ladies, young ladies help save your relationships as well. Number one, uh, without further ado, this is a twofold question, but don't talk to them like they're dumb. Okay? I repeat, do not talk to your foreign woman like they are dumb. What do I mean by this? Let's talk about it from surface level shit. A lot of y'all have the tendency to talk to these young ladies like they stupid in the way of talking to them as if they don't know how to speak English. So you're talking slow to them like, hi, how are you? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. Then you're, 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 you're basically rudimentary, elementary, elementary <laughs> your conversation. And yes, I know there are some young ladies that struggle with the English language. That's perfectly fine. But don't talk to them like they're dumb because it makes you sound dumb. Just have a regular conversation. Yes, you might need to slow your speech a little bit for a lot of them to be able to catch up. Because again, with most foreign women, English is not their first language, right? Or English is not even their second language, right? So you may have to slow down a little bit, but don't talk to them like they're dumb. Because now you sound like you're fucking slow, right? Don't do that, right? Just talk to them in a, in, in a pace that they can understand, in a pace where they can keep up with the words. If there is a language barrier or lost in translation, they got applications for that. They got apps for that, right? If you must translate something into their language, right? But don't talk to them like they're dumb, right? That's one A. One B. Just because your money goes a long way, do not talk down. Most guys don't do this, but some guys do. Do not talk down or treat them as if they're dumb because you got the monies and use the foreign Japan. Don't do that shit. Just don't do it, right? It makes, it is a very bad look to have the cocky mentality when you just stepping into the country or you're just now starting to talk to a foreign lady abroad because now you set the president and to an extent, to an extent, I say this, you're setting the president for all of the foreigners that may come after you, right? And this is something I've talked about before. Most foreigners set the tone, which is why we all have to hold ourselves accountable and we have to be able to hold other foreigners accountable as well because they kind of set the tone for the rest of the guys that may be coming to the country after them, right? So if a young lady has a bad experience because you talked to them like they were dumb or you called them names and stuff, acting like they you didn't think that she knew what you were saying about her or some shit like that, who looks stupid now? Now, the majority of guys won't do that. If you really care or you really are locked into something, most guys won't do that. They will forego that type of energy. But then again, there are a lot of guys who will do so. So again, number one, don't talk to them like they're stupid. The twofold. Number one, slow your pace down, but don't act like you can't speak English yourself. And number two, don't talk to them in a derogatory way, right? That's number one. Number two, now we're getting into the best parts of this video that I need y'all to lock in on. Number two, stop fucking talking to these women about Western women, right? I gotta change his tone real quick. Y'all really need to stop talking to these women about Western women. If you spend the majority of your conversation with this young lady abroad talking about how much you have a disdain for Western women or women in the West or women in the United States or women in your own home country, whether it be European, the UK, or whatever, if you spend the majority of your conversation talking about them, all they're doing is taking notes like, yo, I could do whatever I want to to this guy. I could talk however I want to to this guy. I could do whatever. He's gonna give me money because I am not like the women he came from dating. That's pretty much the president that you're setting when you constantly talk about Western women in a negative light. Me, never done that a day in my life. Actually, to an extent, I know that the modern Western women, and you hear about it on all these other videos, so I don't need to go into details about it. 
it, dating in the modern world is pretty, pretty fucked up. I will admit that, right? Especially when it comes to dealing with women in the West, high expectations. You know, they have all these like expectations for guys and stuff like that, but we're not allowed to have expectations for them and vice versa. It starts to become a headache and a half. I got that. I got that. But if you spend the majority of your conversation, once you get abroad or once you start talking to women abroad about talking about Western women and how the dating is there, this woman going to get tired of you, period. So I'm like, man, this motherfucker every day talking about the same shit. He talking about bitches. And I promise you, I don't know if you know this, but not going to lay this little, little tidbit of information on you. No girl likes to hear you talking about other females. I don't care if she's foreign or not. No girl likes to hear you talking about other females. They just don't like that shit. Like if you start talking about an ex past relationship or shit, they ain't trying to hear that shit. Would you want to hear her talking about the foreign guy she dated before you or the local guy that she dated before you know so if you don't want to hear what the fuck make you think that she want to hear you talking about the women in the west or the women that you dated in the past right now again if you're utilizing it to make a point that's different you know if you're saying you know my last relationship she did this and i didn't like it if that's the point you're trying to make, that's a little different as opposed to just bad mouthing and downing all women in the West. Ah, oh, they're all bad. They're all shit. Da, 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 da. Nobody want to hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Sliding into number three. This is my favorite. And this is the one I want you to lock in on. Two and three are the ones I need you to lock in on. Last one. Do not treat that young lady as if she is a novelty piece. Right? Don't treat that lady as if she's a fucking novelty in your life or a novelty piece. Um, arm candy, shit like that, right? I get it, guys. If this chick that you're dating right now, the chick that's abroad, the foreign chick, is the baddest thing you've ever had in your life, right? If she is the baddest chick you've ever had in your life, you're going to want to show her off, right? You're going to take pictures with her. You want your boys to see. You're going to post it on your Facebook, Instagram, IG, whatever social media platform you use. You're going to want to post it everywhere. But she's got to be more to you than just a fucking novelty, bruh. This kind of ties in with two and three, you know, it ties in with number two, but you, she has to be more to you than just a fucking novelty, just more than just a baddie that you keep on your arm, right? There has to be a little bit more substance to whatever it is that you have with her than that. If you care to have a relationship at all, it's got to be more than just, oh, look at this chick on my arm and stuff. Yes, I understand wanting to make past relationships jealous or young ladies that didn't want to rock with you in the U.S. or in the West. You know, you're trying to make a jealousy in this bad girl that you got on your arm and shit. But she has to be more to you than just a novelty. All right. She has to be more to you than just some lady that you just post pictures with. All right. And the reason I say that is, is because she has to feel as though there is some type of investment in her, in the relationship, not even financial, but there has to be something that you like about her as opposed to just using her for this, that, and the other. She has to feel as though she's more to you than just somebody that's next to you in pictures or somebody that's just there to be around to make other people jealous and shit, all right? So I would say to you, gentlemen, place some value into what you're doing. Now, a lot of y'all will be like, man, I'm just here to fuck. I'm here to have fun. I don't care about this relationship shit. I don't know what you're talking about, doc, man. I'm just here to clap some cheeks and call it a day. I'm not sure how long that's going to last you or how, 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 how you're going to be able to substantiate or do that over a long period of time. But good luck to you. I'm just saying that if you care to have a relationship with a woman abroad, if you care to have a relationship with any type of foreign woman, got to follow these three rules. Don't talk to her like she's dumb. Um, don't talk to her constantly about Western women because she's going to take them notes. She's going to take them back to her homegirls and they're going to try to uh, concoct a plan <laughs> on all y'all. All, all y'all know they probably doing that shit right now. But I'm saying refrain from talking about Western women in such a negative light. It just doesn't pay dividends. I promise you it doesn't. And number three, don't treat her like she's a fucking novelty piece, bro. Don't treat her like she's a novelty. All right? She's got to be more to you, more to you than just a novelty piece. Again, if you care to develop something more than just, you know, some surface level, surface area bullshit. 
And that's all I got to say, ladies and gentlemen. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all locking in with the good doc. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you notify. Do all the good things to make yourself well-versed in the good doc's content. Y'all should already know. Good stuff in the description area below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is my time, effort, and energy. Time for the good doc to go and get to get. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed. Doc is out. Peace.